What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to show you guys how to get all of the Black Op Icons characters, and these include Reznov, Menendez, Woods, and Mason from the Black Ops campaign story arc. Now just to be very blunt about this, these characters are now officially the hardest to get in the game, and they also have a very very vague description, but Let's go ahead and start off with the easiest one, which would be Woods. So for Woods, in order to unlock his character, you need to find the bandana. And the bandana, of course, is the one Woods always wore into combat. And this is located in the Black Ops 1 campaign helicopter spawn, which is kind of north of the firing range. It's the little military hideout base. It's pretty small on the map, but there's also a helicopter that may spawn there. So once you have found the bandana, you need to ride the helicopter for about 30 seconds seconds to a minute and then win the match with the bandana in your inventory after that you will unlock woods next for Menendez you need to find the locket which can be found in supply drops only and the locket of course belongs to Menendez's sister Josefina and like I said I haven't found any other location for the locket besides a supply drop now what I recommend doing is just traveling around in a helicopter and going for each and every individual supply drop until you find the one that contains the locket. Of course make sure you're careful for enemies who like to camp the drops and trap enemies so kind of scout out that area and make sure you go prone while looting. Once you have the locket in your inventory you then need to kill an enemy with a melee attack and then kill another with a shotgun. After you get those two kills you then need to make sure you finish the match with the locket in your inventory and then next up for Reznov you need to find the Ashanka hat and this hat spawns at either the statue on raid the fountain in between raid and stronghold or at the fountain on asylum so either one of those three spawn locations then for the challenge you need to get one long range kill at an extreme distance and this description is very very vague it doesn't tell you how many meters the kill has to be at but when I tried going for this challenge for the first couple times, I can already tell you it's going to have to be around 200 to 300 meters at least. Very, very annoying challenge to complete. Definitely very hard. So you would obviously have to have a sniper or at least a burst rifle. And then once you get a kill, you have to place within the top two in squads, top three in duos, or top five in solos with the Ashanka hat in your inventory. And then finally for Mason, his is definitely the hardest character because you first have to unlock Reznov in order to even start Mason's challenge. So if you have found the t-shirt but don't have Reznov unlocked then you're not going to be able to do this challenge and of course you have to be playing as Reznov. Now Reznov in my opinion should be the character you want to go after first just so you can get him out the way because Menendez and Woods are uh, fairly easy to do but for Mason and Reznov they are the hardest characters to get in the entire game. And then once you have found the stained t-shirt you then have to wake the sleeper agent and this is where I will lead into my next topic of the video which I will discuss in a second but right now as I'm recording this video nobody in the COD community has a clue on what the sleeper agent is and how do we even wake it up maybe it has something to do with killing Hudson in a game or maybe turning on that alarm in a raid just nobody knows as of now and like even if you do manage to complete complete this challenge you then have to finish within top two of the game. Now, for me personally, I've never came across Mason's uh, stained t-shirt, and I played for 12 hours straight of Blackout. Literally, the moment when I got home off of work, I got straight into Blackout, and I played for 12 hours straight, did not find the stained t-shirt. The, the challenges for these new characters are utterly ridiculous, and in my opinion, just way too hard to get. Like, they're to a point where it's not even fun to go for anymore like the chaos crew members sure they were difficult but th they were doable and the specialist characters they were fun to do but for the icon characters it's it's to a point like I said to where it's just not fun anymore to do in a game and uh, I don't know I haven't completely given up on it yet though I just don't think I'm gonna be actively seeking the challenges anymore I've gotten lucky a few times though where I've come across them from death stashes off the people I killed kill 
but just really going for these characters have made me not want to play Blackout like for the rest of the night. But let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. What are your thoughts on the challenges? Are they fairly hard or easy to do? Just tell me your general ideas and thoughts. And if you have found out Mason's task, then please let us know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.